All right, hello YouTube. This is Lee Reptiles back here with another video, and today I'm gonna do a blue tongue sink care video. Now the blue tongue skinks I have are a little bit different than your normal variety of blue tongue skinks. What I have are what called tannin bar blue tongue skinks. This is one of my blue tongues, my tannin bar blue tongue skinks. I think he's a male. As you can see, they do hiss. The hissing doesn't really mean much. It's just like a warning system. Um, what I their hot spot is around 110, which it does fluctuate. They do have a UVA UVB bulb. I do know they don't need UVB, but I give it to them at least for because I do see them bask a lot and. It's just because they're my pets and why not? And at night they have a 150 watt, just a nighttime bowl because it does get pretty cold in my room. For substrate, I use Eco Earth and there's their water bowl. I do feed them cat food with a, with once in a while I give them some chicken or uh, hornworms. They like the Goliath hornworms I give them a lot and anything else some fruits and vegetables I do feed them this type of this one the blue buffalo the cat food one and they seem to like it especially this one who eats it most of the time seems to like it a lot this is a little bromeliad and yeah Their tank, well, this side of the cage, there is a divider, which I only keep it when they're fooded or when I just need to put it in for when I'm not home. It is, um, so yeah, sorry, I had to do something. The two, the dimensions of the cage of this, like with the divider in, is two and a half in length by two feet in width and a foot high. And they seem to like it. I do take out the divider sometimes when they seem to want to switch sides or change environments and stuff. With them, they do need a high humidity though. Unlike the northerns, I think it's the northerns or the easterns. One or the other, unlike some of the Australian ones. These guys are from a little bit more tropical, like a foresty like. And they like it more humidity. Humidity in the cage and the, I spray it down. As you can see, it's nice and wet, and because we this one is shedding, I think so with the other one. And yeah, they do like it a little bit more humidity. Between mostly just put it higher than 50% humidity, and no, and no lower than 50%. But that's good. On this side, this is probably I think the female. That is her. She's a little bit older. I think she's a year and he's six months or much. I think she's actually two years. I really don't know. I forgot. I got them both when they were babies. But yeah, her side of the cage is the same. She does have a smaller food bowl, I know. She doesn't eat as much all the time. Um, and yeah, everything else is the same on her side. She eats the same food. She just gets spoiled a little bit more. Don't worry about this. That is her. She's never tried to bite, actually. She just always hisses and puffs. But, yeah. And there's that famous blue tongue. It's not as fat as others. Blue tongues, but, yeah. Let's light off. Like, it's not as fat as other blue tongue skinks. The tongue, but, yeah. They are a little chubby. Like, she is, like, a little chubby. An orca it looks like, and yeah, she's just gonna go right back into her hide. But yeah, they are more huffy and puffy, but there's nothing to be alarmed of. That one's sticking his little head out. He's like, what's going on? And yeah, they are great pets. Sadly, they're not in the pet trade as much, like, you rarely see them. Um, they're phenomenal, they're even greater, better breeders. Like, if you try to get a hand on a pair, you should. Um, 
and they're from t the Tanabar Islands. And yeah, if there are any questions, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.